This is Kathy Beal of EmpowermentUnlimited.net with Astro Insight for the week of July 22nd, 2024. I don't normally draw a lot of attention to lunations, but I want to remind you of the impact and the gifts of the two we have had this month. The Cancer New Moon inviting everyone to really, really take care of themselves to set situations up in your life that make you feel safe and secure to whatever extent you can, being really, really kind to yourself, putting self-care at the top of your list. And then the second Capricorn full moon, which is just beginning to fade as this week starts. The Capricorn full moon conjunct Pluto, bringing many, many dramas to an extremely dramatic point of fruition and inviting us to take out our garbage. As this fades... We start a week that is going to rekindle our own internal spark and maybe provide the possibility of seeing what you have control over and what you don't. The sun moves into the sign of Leo on the 22nd and the very next day stares down Pluto in Aquarius. So this is the third time we have had a body get softened by Neptune and then leave Cancer, enter Leo, and immediately stare down Pluto. This is a moment of getting to see what your deep fears are, what things are floating underneath your own surface, recognizing that they're there and that you can't run from them, and a moment of intensifying your need to flourish, your need to shine, your need to express yourself. This could also be a good long serenity prayer moment, showing you what you do not have control over. A communication gear shift immediately follows. Mercury, which rules our information flow, what's going on in social media, what we're thinking about, what we're talking about, the very words that we're using. Mercury makes an adjustment aspect to Neptune, which is the planet of latest degrees. So remember, every time a body is leaving a sign, the last thing it does before it goes through the door is have a contact with Neptune. Mercury's contact is one of adjustment. It is an inconjunct. You may hear something that causes you to shift your thinking. You may become aware of a higher way of looking at something. You may come butt up against some massive gaslighting and adjust what you're doing as a consequence. And then... Mercury immediately on the 25th moves into Virgo, which is one of the two signs it rules. This is practical, earthly, mental energy, focused on facts, focused on details, chewing things over, evaluating, being analytical, sometimes being critical, but looking at things from the perspective of how can I make fill in the blank better? Use this. Work this. Mercury in Virgo is also going to incline us toward boundaries, toward saying this close and no further, toward not picking up everybody else's stuff quite so much. This particular one, two, adjusting with Neptune moving into Virgo will happen again in reverse in the middle of August, because Mercury will be retrograde at that point, back out of Virgo and then make an adjustment aspect with Neptune again. Meaning that you may have an opportunity to revisit particular pieces of information, particular thoughts and communications that come now in about a month. At the same time, we see openings for making something happen. The sun is in an opportunity aspect 
with Mars also on the 25th. There is an opening to say something, to communicate something, to set some ideas in motion. And then the concept of adjustment returns in a big way on the 26th. Issues of responsibility and commitment and ramifications come to the fore when Venus makes an inconjunct to Saturn and requires adjustments in relationships, in values, what we're wanting right now, in expressing ourselves, because Venus is in Leo, and which could also involve some form of creativity. And possibly we are called upon to take responsibility for, to answer for something in a relationship, something having to do with money, possibly taking responsibility for ourselves. At the same time, Mercury is making an adjustment aspect to Pluto. You may find your talk scaling back, changing form because of some outer force, perhaps something that you're afraid of. You might think, you might hear something, process something with your mind. You might spy a danger or something big that you can't do anything about and alter the way you're thinking about it, the way you're speaking about it. This inconjunct is actually good for therapy. So if you're in it, you could shift a thought loop. You could actually better something in your own mental health. Throughout all this, remember your inner child. Be very kind to your kid. Take care of yourself and take out your garbage. Homing thought of the week. What is most important to me? Song of the week. Think for Yourself, a deep track on the Beatles' Rubber Soul album. And Image of the Week, I have two separating wheat from chaff and panning for gold. You'll learn more about this in my forecast for the month of July, which is at my site, empowermentunlimited.net, where you can sign up for my mailing list and book a session with me. My August forecast will be up by the middle of the week. I'm Kathy Beal, a professional astrologer with more than 30 years' experience. This week, I am looking at political astrology again with Annette Dion on her Spirit Talk podcast at 3 p.m. Eastern on Tuesday the 23rd on her YouTube channel. I have lots of bonus content at patreon.com slash Kathy Beal, and I'm really grateful to the people who support my work there. I host the show Celestial Compass on Ohm Times Radio and TV on the first and third Monday of every month at 5 p.m. Eastern. I also host Conversation on Facebook, on the page Empowerment Unlimited, and in the group The Astro Insight Lounge. I post on Instagram and threads at, at K.A. Beal and on YouTube at the Professional Aquarian Channel. Talk to you next week.